Hello, I'm Daniela Pamplona and I'm an educator at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. You're going to read and listen to the story about a boy whose mother is a stone cutter at this cathedral called Big John. It's a lovely story that gives us a personal side on how this big cathedral inspires people in many different ways. I did the reading and I hope you enjoy. Me and Mama and Big John by Mara Rockliffe, illustrated by William Lowe. Mama's first day on the job. She comes home late, trudging up the stairs as if they laid that heavy stone right on her shoulders. She's gray as ashes, from her headscarf to her boots. Even her bouncy beaded earrings have gone dull as dirt. My big sister hugs her, and my little brother says, you all done building the cathedral, Mama? She laughs, but her eyes are tired. Not yet, angel baby, not today. Mama used to work the factory line, right here in the neighborhood. Now an early, early bus takes her across the bridge into the city, all the way down to the yard where they're cutting stone for the cathedral called Big John. A cathedral is a big grand, fancy church, and Big John is the grandest of them all. Mama tells us you could put our whole apartment building in the middle, and it wouldn't even touch the high brown ceiling. You could ride an elephant through one of Big John's great bronze doors. John is my name, too. Mama says she's working hard to raise us both upright, Big John and Little John. Seems funny, because Big John is old, older than me, older than mama, even older than her mama and her mama's mama. How come it isn't finished yet? I ask. Not meant to be. She says, not in my lifetime, maybe yours. On her first day off, mama callers come back, bold and bright. She turns the radio up loud and sings along with Steve Wonder while she braids my sister hair. At bedtime, though, she's quiet and her eyes are looking somewhere far away. She lays out her tools, which used to belong to another stone cutter before her. How many stones have you cut so far? I ask. She holds up one finger. One? And it's not done yet. She smiles. I know that stone just like my baby's faces. My hands feel it when it isn't there. I smell it in my sleep. I don't get it. How can Mama stand to work so long and hard? on just one stone. She lays her hand on mine, warm and rough and strong. Building a cathedral isn't just a job, she tells me. It is an art. One time, our class went on a trip to the museum. We saw all kinds of art there. Paint art, pencil art, art made out of clay or colored glass or stone. All the art had names on it, the names of famous artists. I think of people coming to Big John to look at Mama's stone. My mama, the artist. One morning, mama tells us that her stone is done. It's time to meet Big John. My sister rushes to put on her Sunday dress and shiny shoes. My brother even sticks his ears out to be scrubbed. I pull on my good brown corduroys and mama knots my tie. We march down to the bus stop like a parade, our heads up high and proud. I put my nose up to the window as we sail across the bridge. The numbers on the signs go down, 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 until at last Mama sings out, We are here! She takes us to the stone yard first. The men there laugh and joke with Mama, laying out their dusty palms for us to slap them five. Their toes make music on the stone. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Then she takes us to her stone. I walk all around it. From every side, it looks the same, just like all the others. Something big and gray heavy and heavy settles in my belly. Where is Mama's name? How will all the people know that is her art? I drag my feet up the front steps to the cathedral. Inside, it feels dark and cool, like going down into the subway. High above us, colored windows let in crisscrosses of light. Ooh, my sister says. My brother bends his head so far back, he almost falls over. Even Mama doesn't seem so tall inside Big John. 
When people start to sing, I think their voices will just fly away and disappear. Instead, each voice lifts up the next and then the next, each new one held up higher by the ones that came before. Beside me, Mama's voice joins in the song. I take her hand and I sing too. On the way out, I touch a stone. It's warm and rough and strong, like Mama's hands. I lean in close and breathe the old, old smell. See that tower? Mama points. My stone is going way up top. The stones go up and up and up higher than I can count. I think about the hands that worked on every stone until it was exactly right, knowing that it had to hold up all the rest, knowing that it had to last a long, long time. Then I think of all the people who will come together in Big John, not for an art to look at, for an art to be. And high above the people, Mama's stone touching the sky, Maybe they won't know whose stone is it, it is, but that's okay. We will know, me and Mama and Big John.